I woke up this morning, right? Six in the morning. I'm getting myself ready, you know, get my breakfast and stuff, you know, so I can kind of enjoy what what is left of my day before I have to go out for the rest of the day and go to work. And I go and look at my phone and I see, you know, my phone's acting up. There's messages and stuff, right? And I'm thinking, you know, something might have happened. I don't know what could it be. And I go and I see a, a you know, a tweet from my boy Yonko Productions. And I see the title and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Nobody here, Watsuki, the manga cub for this series right here, Roroni Kenshin, was arrested for child pornography, for possession of child pornography. And... I have no I have no other word to describe him and this entire situation other than disappointed. And I want to speak as a fan who caught up with the manga maybe four months ago. You know, this summer I had the honor of reading the story. I'm not associating anymore, you know, the manga cut in his story. The second you see right here that it says Shonen Jump. It's Shonen Jump giving to us the world. I don't regard Watsuki anymore. It can say his damn name on the volume cover. I don't care about that guy now. This is our story. And that's what matters. And it disappoints me. Because you know what? I'm a new fan, right? I got into this manga. I was reading it. Because I heard about this Hokkaido arc. That there was going to be a continuation for it. I said, you know what? Let me get into this. I want to experience Kenshin. Because look. I grew up watching Dragon Ball. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! I saw the like the what bits of the four kids dub for One Piece. I saw the first season of Yu Yu Hakusho Show before I got taken off the air and never got a chance to watch after again. And Roroni Kenshin was one of those series that, in the back of my mind, I wanted to get into, but I just didn't. And then years later, years later, after catching up the different anime and manga, I said to myself, "Why in the hell have I not gotten into Roroni Kenshin?" I know so many people who grew up on it, who watched it or read it, that some people say is their favorite freaking series. That some people say that Wasuki is one of the best mangaka. And I hear this news that this man got fucking arrested for something so stupid. You are a man who fucking built a manga that made people happy week in and week out for 20 plus years regardless when it finished. For 20 plus years you had people who got into this series whether it be weekly whether it be people who got into it afterwards, upon completion. Whether it be in Japan, whether it be here in North America. And you're going to tell me that you did something so freaking stupid. That now people who look at the goddamn, you know, the genre of anime and manga. The whole of, of anime and manga. That for years makes it so tough to get people into. For people to want to even experience it, it's hard for me. Ten years ago, trying to get people into anime and manga wasn't that easy. People were going to say, oh, these little Chinese cartoons. You know, they have all these women with tits showing out. You know, they got all this crazy shit going on that, you know, you're just being glorified. That you shouldn't just get into. And then, after years upon years, where I feel like right now we're at a moment where it's going to finally come to a point where people, anyone, doesn't matter what age you are, can get into it here in North America. This shit happens. And now I'm looking at this, and it's like, what the hell, man? I, I, you know what? I haven't been with the series for 20 years. I've only been a fan as much as for freaking four months. But I can't, I'm only speaking from how I'm feeling. I know there are people who got into it for that long who are feeling like shit. Because a series that maybe brought them happiness or took them out of depression is now tainted because of some dumb sicko that decided to do some stupid shit like this. And now, the manga's on a different hiatus. There is no way, I'm telling you right now, there is no way Roroni Kenshin's ever coming back. The whole Kaido arc, that's cut. Any possibilities of a new anime covering the final arc in the original, that's cut. Any video games, that's cut. Merchandise, forget about it. That shit's gone. I can't believe somebody so stupid would do something like that. You know what kind of influence you have with the world. You know what you have with this industry. Look at this series, man. This series right here is freaking amazing. And I'll tell you this right now. I'm not going to stop collecting it. If you didn't see my freaking tweet, I have a link down to my Twitter down below. I put up a tweet saying, look, regardless of what happened with him, I'm separating Watsuki from Roroni Kenshin because I love Roroni Kenshin. 
Himura Kensha is one of the best man freaking manga characters, main characters, that I've ever had the honor of reading his series. Sonosuke, my favorite character, and I don't care if this is a spoiler for what happened in the Hokkaido arc in the most recent chapter that comes out through Weekly Shonen Jump, but I'm fucking angry at the fact that my boy pulled up at the goddamn port at the harbor with the goddamn symbol on his back. Getting ready to come back into the manga to roll up in Hokkaido. And now I'm never going to see what the fuck his face is like. What, you know, what his mindset has been like since he's been gone technically for over a year or so. What the fuck, man? What, what, what is with people doing stupid shit like this? You have no clue. How much this is pissing me off. I can't imagine for everyone else who's gone into the series what they're feeling like. This is a disgusting day right now. This is an absolutely disgusting day for our industry. As fans for anime and manga, this is absolutely disgusting. I can't see it, you know, in good conscience to hand Weekly Shonen Jump my hard-earned money to buy more volumes of this series. If I have to go to third-party stores and shit... You know, to go and buy those volumes so it doesn't indirectly give Watsuki any money? I'm going to have to. You guys know how much I love sustaining the goddamn industry. I have a freaking bookshelf right here full of books, full of manga that I bought because I love these series because I want to support them and see them ongoing. But I can't do that for Watsuki. Not anymore. I bought this first volume on the whim because I wanted to get into this series and experience why people say Roroni Kenshin is one of the best manga of all time. The story is beautiful. Romance that's not just upon, you know, love between man and woman, but the love of a family, love of brothers, love of friends. That is the beauty of the romance. And I can't just like, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just so disappointed. You have people like Ichiro Oda, man, who, who, who worked under him. Watsuki was his goddamn mentor. I, I don't even want to imagine what Oda's feeling. You have the goddamn Wano arc happening within a year to a year and seven months from now. That I've been saying would be so dope to see content from Kenshin be hinted towards or paid homage to in the Wano arc. That now I feel is probably not going to happen because if he does that, he's associated with freaking a sicko. Who beats his fucking meat to 10 year olds. I want... I, I don't know man. This is not something I wanted to wake up to. And pull up my goddamn camera to talk about and record. But I'm just pissed off man. Watsugi, I don't care... What happens with your life, your career, whatever, you deserve what's given to you. You're a sick, twisted bastard, and I hope you get what you deserve. And to those of you guys like myself, who are Kenshin fans, who love this goddamn manga, I'm sorry. We deserve better than this. We truly do.